sorry, wrong house. Where have you been? We were standing on the curb for over eight hours. The garbage guys literally tried to take Lana to the dump. I'm really sorry. I had a busy day with the very wealthy Lord Tetherby and I just couldn't get away. I cannot believe you have been hanging out with some random rich guy all day instead of taking your own sisters to the Burpin Burger! A man in a limo can't be seen in some rat hole named after a bodily function. It's just not done. You're not a man in a limo. You're a kid who ate a bunch of mustard. As soon as your limo's gone, this little fantasy of yours is going to be over. Oh, really? Is that why they're making me a member of their club tonight? Hmm? Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to put on my formal wear. You'll see, Lincoln. You're no better than the rest of us. No better than the rest of us? How dare she? I'm an important person, and I've got important places to be. Speaking of which, why aren't we moving? <laughs> this is unacceptable. Can't you drive around this? There's nothing I can do. Sorry, Lincoln. Don't call me Lincoln. It's Sir. Tetherby was right. If you get too chummy with the help, it just confuses them. Let's keep this straight, Kirby. I'm the man in the limo. You're the man driving the limo. <sighs> and what's all this beeping? It's the timer, sir. Your day is up. You're no longer a man in a limo. What? <laughs> well, the joke's on you, because I took some of your mustard. Where the heck am I? <laughs> nice, puppies. You like spicy brown? I'm more of a classic yellow fan myself. <laughs> the joke's on you! These aren't real dress shoes. They're sneakers I colored in with a marker. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, the joke's on you, cuz... Uh, oh, who am I kidding? The joke's on me. Ah! <sighs> Hello? Tetherby? It's me, Loud! I'm here for my gala! I say, Loud, what happened to you? And more importantly, what happened to your limo? I don't have it anymore. Without a limo, you cannot possibly join the club. It just isn't done. But, old, uh, Sprout, I, I thought I fit in splendidly. You did, when you had a limo. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have about 800 Lincoln balloons to pop. I'm here with the former limo rider. Tell us, how did a man who rose so high sink so low? Well, I started to think that I was better than everybody and acted like a real jerk. But the truth is, I'm just a kid who ate a bunch of mustard. Looks more like ketchup to this reporter. <laughs> Burping burger? That's it! I know how to fix everything! Can I get a ride? In the news van? Hmm, it just isn't done. <laughs>